actually in collecting these food stores is asking people to give me a personal story about food. I mean, as simple as that sounds, it can go off into a lot of different directions. And so, like, people are answering questions like, what is your favorite food? What do you remember uh, cooking? I actually even remember you telling me about how you learned to cook and who you learned to cook from. <laughs> you know, I do remember that. Because uh, I've been kind of collecting food stories in my head, not formally, for a while. So give me a food story. So actually, that's what I was going to talk about more. Like, how did I start cooking? Um, my grandmother, I used to be in the kitchen with my grandmother when I was about, i said about three years old. I started being beside her as she was cooking and I had an easy bake oven and so so like she would make like an egg custard pie or something like that and she would always give me something to put in my little tin and uh -huh. then we'll put it in the oven uh -huh. And <laughs> and we <laughs> and we started um, and so that's how I start cooking. Now you know, like easy bake oven is gonna age us. I know. Now, I, I know, know what an easy bake oven. <laughs> do you all know what easy bake oven is? <laughs> or you all do? Okay. <laughs> I had one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, we all have, all right. Excellent. Yeah, and uh -huh. then um, so as the years progress, I always like being in the kitchen with my grandmother, like when she make homemade cakes and pies and stuff, all the grandkids would be fighting over the beaters, right? <laughs> to lick them. <laughs> to lick the beaters, yeah. And she actually, she said, um, as a little girl, that she did that with her grandmother, and they would make homemade ice cream and stuff, and she had four other sisters, and they would be fighting over the beaters and stuff. And actually, my grandmother said that that's how she modeled to be a grandmother from her grandmother, because her... Her mom had a lot going on. She had some mental illness and stuff. But, oh, okay. but her grandmother was like her rock. So, and then my grandmother became the rock of our family. Oh, excellent. And um, I'm the backbone and trainer. Uh. So, <laughs> so we, <laughs> so we, um, we celebrate with food all of the time. I mean, that's like one of the things. You come in, you get a plate, and it's always. Plenty to eat, and our motto is it's better too much than too little. So everybody can eat, and it's always a freezer, so you can put it up. <laughs> so, you, so you can put it up. And um, we used to always get together when I was young on my grandfather's side four times a year, and that would be on my great grandmother's birthday, which um, Miss Oni in April, uh -huh. then Mother's Day, and then we'd get together um, like a time in June, and then we'd get together for Thanksgiving. And so it was always around food. My my uncles and cousins and them would have eating contests. I don't know how healthy this is. But <laughs> <laughs> they would have like three or four plates and just sit and eat. Because it was like anything you wanted to name, we had it there. Uh -huh. And um, my my great auntie, little auntie, used to cook for um, Thanksgiving. And my grandmother always believed that even if we was going somewhere, because we would always go over there for Thanksgiving, she would cook a meal there too. She said at home. She said you gotta have a meal at home. Uh, so, okay. <laughs> so she would cook there, and then we would go over, and then get sent all this food home and we just always had <laughs> so my my great auntie she would cook for like days and we would have like about 20 25 varieties of meat wow. and like all the side dishes you can name and about 15 20 cakes and pies and rolls that just melt in your mouth oh, wow. and uh, so we've always like connected and gathered through food so in my organizing and everything, I always make sure that we're eating because when you're eating, then you're happy. So. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> now, I hear you. I had a, I had a boss once. I was doing community programs. I had a boss once that says, "No eating, no meat." Right. <laughs> right. That's your motto. Right. Uh -huh. Exactly. So now, are you passing this on? Yes, mm -hmm. most, most definitely. It's just mm -hmm. um, funny you could, because my daughter she cooks and she cooks very well. Me and my grandmother cursed her with a, a terrible thing, though, and that's cooking too much. Uh, we always, she she cooked, she did the um, Christmas and Thanksgiving dinner two years in a row, 
and she cooked, I think it was like maybe six to eight of us, and she did a pan of rice like this big. <laughs> Chicken, fish, just anything you want to name. And she had, I actually had enough to, because I work with a group of men, so to take some for the community dinner over there. And they oh, ate it, and so it wouldn't go to waste. But yeah, she cooks, and um, she loves to be in the kitchen too. And one of the things that my grandmother did, when I was 10, she bought me my first mixer. Oh. And then when, when my daughter was 10, she bought her her first mixer. Wow. So, um, <laughs> That's she, fantastic. Yeah, and then she bought my my daughter last year one of them choppers. You know, you chop the. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's um, cooking and food is a big part of our life. Yeah. No, thank you. thank, thank you. you, and I'll be looking forward to eating your food All right. here soon. <laughs>